first and foremost, I just like to thank God and uh, Jesus. You know, they really saved me from stuff bigger than football. And, you know, I want to give all the credit to them, my family, my support system, but also my brothers here, here at USC, and also the new coaching staff, you know, bringing, bringing new life to the program and, you know, kind of being able to be a rock for us to build off of. So, yeah. With, with that new coaching staff came over, did, did that, did, were there any thoughts in your mind of maybe leaving the program before that happened? No, yeah, no way. I never wanted to leave. Um, of course, some stuff happened where I had to prove myself a little bit more than I would have uh, assumed or thought of what was going to happen. But, you know, I was more than willing to do that, and I'm just happy to still be home here at USC. Can you walk us through their talks with them and decide when you move to linebacker or some kind of defensive lineman? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, so I got moved to the edge right when they came in. You know, they needed more bodies on the edge, and you know, I was willing to fill that spot. And if, you know, they needed me to go play three-tech, I'll go play three-tech. Nose guard, I'll play nose guard. So, you know, whatever to do to make my team better, you know. How much weight have you put on exactly? So right now I'm like 265 before breakfast. Uh, last season I was like 240, 245. So been working in the weight room with Coach Wiley. It's a great program, and Coach Nua as well uh, with the fundamentals and all that. So it's been trying to get strong and get fast, explosive for the season. Do they have a target target weight set for you? Yeah, uh, about like 265, 270 range. Stay in that area so I could, you know, still stay quick, but also got some more weight behind me so I can you know, do what I can. Lincoln Riley talked about, you know, last year you were kind of just, it was all bull rush. What what are some of the new techniques that, that Coach New has brought to you that, that really refined your game? Yeah, so Coach New loves power. I love power too. Uh, there's a lot of moves you could do that aren't power, but they rely off you setting it up with power. So, you know, watching Tooley last year, he was able to do that really well. And I'd like to try to, you know, recreate what he did last year and maybe hop out a little bit more and, utilize my power to set up my finesse moves. Is there like a learning curve just being thrown at the defensive line, you know, not being like used to battling defensive line in that case? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, getting a lot of reps last year during spring and fall camp helped out a lot. Uh, just learning the fundamentals of D-line, it's, it's a different kind of timing. Instead of linebacker where you're flowing and you have time to go react and shoot to a play, D-line, it's all right now. It's all go time. So learning from Thule and the guys who came before me, like Nick Fig too, uh, really helped out a lot. What do you feel like clicked for you this past spring? Because you had one of the best spring camps. Anyone really big spring game performance. So what do you feel like clicked for you with this awesome just watching more film with Coach Nua, being able to sit down with him a lot more and you know generate that relationship where I can kind of understand more what he's saying on a visualization level instead of just hearing it and hearing it. And being able to sit down with Coach Nua and le learn D-line from him, one of the best coaches in the nation, like I was really grateful for that. Are you are you playing on the edge right now? Are you trying to play inside? Or what, what's their plan for you on the, on the line? Yeah, so right now I'm on the edge, same as spring. Sir. How much of the linebacker mentality can you bring over to the defensive line? Is it is it different? Man, I would say it's it's the same idea. You go and you try to destroy the guy in front of you if you can. You know, uh, go all out, try your hardest, and you know, utilize power if you got power. If you're more of a finesse guy, utilize your finesse. But you know, go get the ball. That's the it's the motto of this defense and strain to the ball. And I feel like that's pretty similar for D-line and linebacker. And I know it's, it, this might be a difficult question. It's, it's, sometimes it's hard to shut out the outside noise. And Last year, the team was really close to getting to the playoffs. What do you see different with the defense this year compared to last year? Was it, is it a scheme? Is it personnel? What's going to be the difference getting that team into the playoffs of this season? I would say leadership and experience. You know, we got a lot of guys who've played in this system and, you know, the coaches, we built that relationship now and we're becoming more tight knit. Culture's pretty much set in stone and it's up to us to execute.
Mason Cobb said he was really impressed with you in the weight room. Who impressed you in the weight room? Shoot. Man, I'd probably say Keon Bars. Keon Bars, he's he's strong and explosive. Just pop, pop, pop. Throws the weight off real good. Squat, too. Well, Jamil Muhammad, too. He's got freakishly strong everything, so. Yeah, he's a beast. One of those guys are lifting partners. Yeah, so I started out lifting partners with them. And uh, one of my friends, Jack Sullivan, he ended up needing a lifting partner, so I ended up moving out, moving in with him, and you know, we got to work too. What do, can you talk about those new, the new guys who have come over from, through the transfer portal with Jack Sullivan? What does he bring to the table? That you know, obviously, you look at a Bear Alexander, big, strong guy. You look at Jack Sullivan; he doesn't look like your typical USC defensive lineman. Yeah, so Jack, he's he's like a seasoned vet. You know, he has experience in all positions on the line. So being able to listen to him and hear his critiques on certain rushes during film or even during drills, it's it's great to have. And, you know, he's like a savvy vet. He, he knows what he's doing. So it's good to have him on the squad. And same thing with Anthony Lucas, when he's come over. What has he brought to the table? So Anthony, he's, he's young, but he's got experience too. He's played D-line his whole life, edge his whole life, and he's really good at it utilizing his body to his advantage. And he brings new dynamic moves to the to the edge that we didn't really see last year. And being able to look at him on film is, is pretty awesome and kind of uh, study each other. Okay. What's your relationship like in general with Anthony? You guys seem to be pretty close. You guys look, uh, laughing and joking coming out of practice together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ever since Ann came in, we've been real cool. Uh, you know, I just, just like I said earlier, the team's more tight knit. We're, uh, you know, we established the culture last year. We're trying to keep it going with good energy, good vibe, and keep it going. Just in general, you, know, you have a tough journey to get back up on the playing field. Just, what was it like just getting to play the game for real and actually you know, go out there and make meaningful tackles and things like that? Man, it was crazy. It was, it was crazy to see myself on film finally, like. During the game, you're kind of in a mode where it's like foggy almost, and it's fun to be like that. But, you know, afterwards, just being able to sit there with my family and pray and, you know, just be real thankful to Heavenly Father and Jesus for, you know, helping me through that that little, little storm. And, yeah, it really strengthened my relationship with Heavenly Father, too. It's amazing. Sean Nua said, messing up the quote, he said, no one bleeds more Trojan than you, something to that effect. What does it mean to be a Trojan and just to stay through all you've been through here? You know, good me. Man, I mean, you say it all the time, you know, fight on. Uh, whatever it is, you get knocked down, you get back up, you fight on. Uh, you're still, you're going strong, don't get complacent, fight on. So, I would say that's the main thing that I got from being here at USC is, you know, learning how to fight on. How much would it mean to you to to put that C on your jersey? Oh man, that would be real cool. It'd be cool, but you know we got a lot of leaders on this team and a lot of leaders on this squad. So whoever gets that C, I'm I'm comfortable with it. You know, because you know we all vote for him and all that stuff. So you know I'm willing to follow whoever has the C on there. I know they earned it. Who do you see as with the young with the recruiting class that just came in? Who do you see as the future leaders of this team? Future leader. Man. I'd probably say a guy like Alani Noel. You know, he comes in, he's quiet, gets his work done, leads by example. You know, never, never late, always doing stuff right, technically sound, dog on the field, and then nice off the field. So I'd say a guy like him. Are, are you one of the guys that will make sure everybody's pulling their weight? sort of speak, getting to the meetings on time, and meals on time. So everybody's not maybe paying the price when you have to hit the practice field. Man, you know, I do my best to try to encourage my brothers to do the right thing and stuff like that. There will always be hiccups on this thing, but, you know, I would say I, if they need me to help them, I'll help them all day, whatever they need. And they know that, and shoot, they can count on me. Okay. So when the first when the staff first came in, what were those conversations like with like Lincoln Riley? 
So you're trying to kind of like fight for your job here. What were those conversations like? Well, honestly, you know, they they didn't have room for me. Uh, not because of anything against me or anything like that. It was just, you know, I hadn't played a lot. And they wanted to go a different direction, find some more either experienced guys from the transfer portal or keep that open for uh, future recruits. So, you know, mostly conversations. It was conversations about me looking for a new spot. Uh, me, pretty much, yeah, just in a nutshell, that's, that's what it was. So how does it feel to actually, you know, prove them wrong and go out there and do what you do? How does that feel? Man, it feels good. It feels good to, to know that, you know, Heavenly Father's looking over me, Jesus is looking over me, and they're guiding me through my life and, you know, just holding firm to their guidance and having faith in them and having a strong support system behind me. It was, it's nice. It's nice to, to have that feeling.